Let me ask you to comment briefly on this killer asteroid that is supposed to come in 2029. Is that what uh, what you see yeah, in the book? Yeah, there, there's an asteroid coming and they'll have a close approach in 2029 on April 13th, a, a Friday, by the way. <laughs> that is just Friday the 13th. That is it, just too made for TV. It's the size of the Rose Bowl. It's about 300 meters across, and it will come closer to Earth than our orbiting communication satellites. It's, it's like a buzz cut, all right? And so now we know it's not going to hit us in that passage. Good to know. Yes. However, what we don't know, we don't know the orbit well enough to be sure that it won't hit us on the next time around, which is exactly seven years later, April 13th, but that would be Thursday the 13th. <laughs> so, so we, we have to be um, alert and not be like the dinosaurs. Yeah, I could say, you know, why don't we have a space program so that we don't go extinct? Dinosaurs went extinct. They didn't have a space program. I don't want to be the laughing stock of aliens in the galaxy if they learned that we could have deflected an asteroid because we had the intelligence, opposable thumbs, and an existing space program, but chose not to because of funding short-sightedness. We'd be the laughing stock of the galaxy to have gone extinct for not having that foresight. I don't want to be the laughing stock of all the aliens in the galaxy. So, so, yeah, I think one of the greatest reasons to have a big, healthy space program is so that we don't go extinct. The problem is, time scales of when ast asteroids hit us and render us extinct are much longer than the re-election time scales of members of Congress. 88% of Congress gets elected every two years. And an asteroid could take us out in 100 years. So they'll say, well, that's somebody else's problem. So that's why I'm not leading with the asteroid case, because it's harder for—I'm being respectful of the fact that a congressional representative who's elected every two years is elected every two years, and they have issues that they need to solve in those two years. I'm not complaining about this. This is the system we've all bought into in our Constitution. So, but I do know that people care about economies. And for free out of that, you get to solve the asteroid problem. <laughs> because you've got the launch configuration of vehicles that'll go, take you there and, 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 and tag it and track it and bag it and, 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 and deflect it.